What's up, YouTube? I am back with another video. It's Heather, of course. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe to my channel, like, comment, leave me comments below, letting me know what kind of videos you want to see on my channel. Um, it's like six, less than six months left in the year. And I'm going to really try my best to get a schedule going and get these videos coming out to you guys on a regular basis. So make sure you ring the bell so that you get all the updates when I post. But anyways, I'm here. It's a little over a month postpartum. So I thought I would come on here and just give you guys um, a little update on where I am post and also kind of a one month update on Noah, my son. So I had him at 39 weeks, one week ahead of his due date. And um, it was a plan C section. And I will say for me, the plan C section went so much better than the, I had an emergency C section my first pregnancy. So I think the, uh, the plan C section went perfect. It, I kind of knew what to expect this go round with the anesthesia. Um, I was not put to sleep, but I was numb from the waist down um, through the spinal, I think it's a, called a spinal tap. Um, I think that's what it's called, spinal tap. So um, they basically put a needle in your back and your spine and they numb you from the waist down. Um, my team was so nice, like my anesthesiologist, um, I think I had two in the room. They were both spectacular, so nice, so attentive to me. Um, of course, my doctor um, from Women for Women was there. She was awesome as well. Um, they kind of talked through the whole thing the whole time, which made it more comfortable for me, kind of just, like I said, knowing ahead of time what's going to happen. Um, I was the first one for the day, I'm pretty sure, because I was scheduled for like um, 7 a.m., I had to be at the hospital at 5 a.m. So um, we pretty much, we got there, they ran tests, um, you know, got my IV in and stuff like that. And we were like pretty much right on time. Um, it maybe took an hour, everything considered. Um, so that went well. I did start off breastfeeding in the hospital. Um, I told you I was gonna try, but I was already kind of knowing that I might not continue. And at one month postpartum, I have already quit. Judge your mama, okay? Don't judge me, baby, because every motherhood journey is different, okay? But anyways, yeah, I, I quit breastfeeding. I did breastfeed while um, in the hospital. My milk came in about the second or third day. I think it comes in way, way quicker than the first time. Like the first time I was almost about to leave before it came in, but it came in right away, like right away. Um, I got colostrum like the first day. So um, second time around, milk came in way faster, was much more um, heavy. So I had like, I was doing a good stash going at first so i had even after i quit i had like maybe another week or so worth of milk um that i used before going to formula um and if y'all want a video on how to get your milk to come in i can do that because um i do attribute it to my consistency in the hospital but we can talk about that or how to dry up your milk if you want a video on that how to get your milk going right away or how to or both or how to um dry your milk up when you're ready to quit just let me know if y'all want those videos in the comments and i will get it going but anyways like i said i didn't quit because two under two is like a lot like it's a really really a lot and um yeah like the baby he sleeps a lot he's sleeping so much um where if I was here by myself with him, you know, it wouldn't be that bad. But with a toddler as well, because he's still not in, um, my oldest son Skylar is still not in daycare. So he's here with us too. 
and he wants attention and he wants to do activities and play games and watch TV and stuff at the same time, uh, it makes for a very difficult juggling of the two. So we decided we're gonna send him back to daycare um, in September. I'm a little weary now that COVID is back again. COVID is like back hype again. So I don't know how that's gonna go, but we're gonna go on the cinema in September and if they shut it down, they shut it down. But um, that's gonna give me a lot more time during the day, I feel like to, you know, just be able to move around how I wanna move around. Cause I don't like to like get in the shower while he's awake or anything like that. I know a lot of people do and they just say play and I'll be back. But I don't know, I just be worried. So I wait till they both are taking a nap to do anything for myself. Like I can cook wearing the baby, you know, and juggling the toddler or things like that. But um, for the most part, a lot of the bulk of the things I need to do for myself, I have to wait until someone else is here or until they're both you know, uh, sleep or something like that. So that's been a challenge. And I'm excited about sending Skylar back to daycare. Noah, my youngest that I just had, um, at one month he is doing longer stretches of sleep. Um, our pediatrician wants us to wake him up every two hours. Letting y'all know I'm not following that rule, okay? I'm feeding on demand as if a breastfeeding mother would do. And if he's awake and it's been two hours, we feed. If it's if he sleep and it's been over two hours, I let him sleep until he wakes up. So um, in his first um, postpartum appointment or his first doctor's appointment, he had already uh, surpassed his birth weight. So um, I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling good, and that was on the breast milk. So you know formula is heavier and thicker they get chunkier faster so i'm very confident with that uh, with that schedule <laughs> like i just I, i'm comfortable with that schedule i don't want to uh, interrupt his sleep pattern or cause him to not be able to sleep through the night when the time comes because he's already doing five hour six hour stretches sometimes through the night so um, I'm expecting by month two, beginning of month three, we should be sleeping through the night, I'm thinking. So uh, the formula that we switched to is, we tried two so far. I went straight to the one my oldest son had first, and that was Infamil um, Acid Reflux. And I did use the Walmart brand. It didn't go well. He was... Um, more than colic more than the gassiness it was a it was extra like he was grunting and crying every time the whole time after a bottle so i moved to infamil gentle leaves is like the purple one and i am using the infamil brand now and it's a lot better but it doesn't keep him full as long so we've already escalated to four ounces which i feel like that's a lot maybe it's not but that's what we're doing right now. Four ounces of Infamil Gentle Lease. And diapers, I'm still on the um, baby shower diapers right now. So whatever box we bust open is what we use. Of course, I'm still content with loves. We did get a lot of loves um, just cause that's what I put on my registry. They had the one month boxes. Let me show you. They have these, these are the one month um, supply and they're on Amazon and I think they're at Walmart too, but um, the one month supply really has been less than a whole month. So that's been amazing. Like they last so long. So I'm in love with that one month supply. And if they have them in bigger sizes as we go up, I will probably try to purchase early online at Amazon because I love the one month supply thing. Just one box, don't have to keep going to the store, blah, blah, blah. And we're doing size one because y'all know I don't do that leaking thing. I don't do leaks. So we had to move up from the newborns to size one. So yeah, I don't know if there's a lot more to say about the first month um, with his life, but uh, it's been good. Now me, um, postpartum, I was a lot, I think I was a lot more sore this time. Um, 
it was a lot harder to get up out of bed. Like your abdomen area was not um, as strong than the, as the first time. So getting in and out of the bed was very difficult. It still is sometimes at one month, it's still a little, you know, it's not tender to the touch or sore anymore on my stomach, but um, it's still like numb, if that makes sense. Like some areas are still like where you can't really feel your your body. I don't know if you can, if that makes sense, but like you can touch it and feel it with your fingers, but it doesn't feel like it's there. So um, yeah, I'm still sore. I'm still um, supposed to be taking it easy with, she told me I could work out lightly. Um, that was prior to the six weeks. She told me I could work out low intensity. So I'm about to start. I have not started, but I'm about to start eating right and uh, working out. Um, as far as weight and stuff like that, I have not, um, like I said, I haven't started eating right at all. I have not started working out at all. But I have lost weight just from, you know, losing the baby, the placenta, water, all that stuff. Um, and I'm only like six pounds from where I was last year, this time, according to my fitness app. So um, I'll probably do another video about my fitness journey and trying to get down to my goals and my weight and stuff like that. But mostly I just want to look good in my clothes. I'm not really hung up on the, the number on the scale that much, but I do want to look good in my clothes and I don't want no good and I don't want no Thanksgiving arms, okay? <laughs> I don't want them. So I will be working out and eating right starting probably Monday. That, well, I will start Monday. Um, but I took the the pain pills all of them for the first two weeks. And then after that, I just um, took aspirin as needed or whatever. And I feel pretty good pain-wise now, like I don't have any pain. But like I said, it is still um, just like my body has not snapped back. Like you see the Instagram models and stuff like that. Like I'm gonna back up and see if you can see me. But uh, I do have a gut still. And I have on like, um, a waist trainer right now so that I can start train training your waist is real okay so I do have on a waist trainer right now so I'm a little sucked in more than what I am like you know butt naked or whatever but <laughs> but um I do have a belly still at one month or a little over one month postpartum um I think that's natural for most people unless you were already super skinny super flat stomach and it's your first pregnancy most of the time you're still gonna have a stomach so I still got a stomach and, and all that, but um, it's significantly smaller than before. So if you wanna come on my fitness journey with me, make sure you subscribe to the channel, okay? But um, other than that, I haven't had a ton of problems going on. Um, my blood pressure has still been high and I think that that's due to the extra weight that I have on me. So that's another incentive for me to work out and get some of this weight off because my blood pressure has been somewhat high. And so I have now started taking um, labetalone, which is what I took my first pregnancy when I had high blood pressure um, due to the pregnancy, preeclampsia, whatever you want to call it. But um, I had, did not have preeclampsia or high blood pressure the entire time that I was pregnant but now after the pregnancy i do have high blood pressure so i'm working on that um but yeah overall postpartum wise i have not noticed any symptoms of having postpartum depression um i feel much better uh, less cloudy this time than i did the first time and i attribute a lot of that to my actual pregnancy experience like the actual surgery and things like that went so much smoother this time and gave me less, less anxiety. So I think that's why, um, you know, things have just been better this time. So, um, you know, it can continue to show itself throughout, you know, probably the next six months, I think. So I'm just gonna keep a lookout for it, um, try to take my vitamins and stay in positive high spirits. And yeah, but 
Um, I'm having a really good experience so far besides adjusting to my times and sleep wise and uh, you know, the juggle of the two kids, like it's a juggle, just getting in the car with all the bags and all the people. It's a lot, it's a lot, it's a lot. But I'm getting there, I'm getting it. And you know, overall I feel pretty happy and um, as far as postpartum depression goes. So things have been good. And I just wanna say thank y'all for being a part of my channel and for watching my journey. And if there's any other videos or anything that you want me to talk about with motherhood, just make sure you leave that in the comments below and let me know. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video so that, you know, we can get more people here and we can talk about more things, have more interaction, you know. <laughs> but anyways, love y'all and see y'all in the next video.